This short video shows you how to book a slot at one of our household waste and recycling centres using the online form. First, go to www.blackburn.gov.uk and go to the Waste and Recycling section. Next, click on Household Waste Recycling Centres. This page contains valuable information about how our centres will operate and the terms and conditions you must follow when booking slots and attending the centres. It is really important you read this information as failure to adhere to the terms may result in your appointment being cancelled or you being refused access to the centre on the day. When you've read through the information, click on the appropriate button at the bottom of the page to be taken to the login screen for that booking form. You have the option of Blackburn or Darwin centres and to select if you are a permit holder. The first time you make a booking, you will need to register. If you have previously registered to use our Help Hub or made a previous booking, then just log in using the credentials you set up. However, if you need to register, click on Register Now on the login screen. Complete the form on screen. Enter your email address. This will be your username when you log on and where all your confirmation emails will be sent. Enter your address by typing the postcode, including the space, and then select your address from the list. You must be a resident of Blackburn with Darwin to book a space at one of our recycling centres. If you aren't sure if you are a resident, check your council tax bill, as this will tell you who you pay your council tax to. If it isn't Blackburn with Darwin Borough Council, then I'm afraid you won't be able to complete the booking form. Next, enter your first and last name into the appropriate fields. And then enter a suitable strong password into the password field. And re-enter it into the next field to confirm it. You can also add a mobile phone number if you wish. Click on the link to view the terms and conditions of the site. Then confirm that you agree to them by putting a tick in the box. Click the Create Account button at the top right corner of the screen. You'll be sent an email to the email address you specified, asking you to activate your account. You will need to go to this email and click on the Activate link within it to activate your account before you can progress with your booking. On the activation screen, click on Click Here to log in. Now log in to the system using the information you gave when registering for your account. Select which site you want to make a booking at. Remember to select the appropriate permit booking option if you are a permit holder. You may be prompted to log in again to confirm your account information. If this happens, just enter your login credentials again and click the login button. You'll then be taken into the booking form. Read the important information on the first screen. Then click Next to move to the next section of the form. Enter your vehicle information into the form. This must be the details of the vehicle you will be taking to the centre on the day of your appointment. Click on the Next button. Click the Select button to open the Appointment Selection form. The address field will default to your address. However, you can change it if you are bringing waste on behalf of another individual or household, as long as they are a resident of the borough. If you use an address from outside of Blackburn with Darwin, you will not be able to select a date in the next section of the form. Select your preferred date from the list. And then select your preferred time from the time drop-down menu. and click Confirm. Note that bookings can only be made up to two weeks in advance. 
If you then see the message no slots found, it means all the slots for that time are fully booked. To see if there are any other time slots available for that date, clear the time from the drop down and click confirm again. A list of any available times on that date will be displayed. If you still see no slots found, it means that all the slots for that day are fully booked. So select another date and click the confirm button again to see if there are any available slots for that date. Next, select a slot from the times available by putting a tick in the box next to the time you want to book. Some options will open up underneath your time slot. Select the group from the drop down. There should only be one option here. Then select the item value. Again, you should only see one option here. Next, scroll back up to the top of the form and click Proceed. You can still change your slot at this stage if you want. Just click on the appointment details to go back to the appointment selection form. When you're happy with your appointment selection, click on the next button. Read through the terms and conditions of your booking carefully. Failure to adhere to these terms and conditions could result in your booking being cancelled or your entry to the centre being refused on the day. Tick the box to state you agree with the terms. And click Next to view a summary of your booking. If you need to make any changes at this point, click the back button at the top. Or to secure your booking, click on the submit button. You will receive an email to confirm your booking request was submitted. And shortly afterwards, you will receive a second email to confirm your appointment. Read through the information in your confirmation email carefully as it has instructions for what you will need to do on the day of your appointment. An hour before your appointment slot, you will receive a reminder email which also details what you need to do at your appointment. And that's it. Take care and stay safe.